We've got a bit of a thing going on here. Up here on the wall too. Over here also. Out by the pool. And even out here by the boats. I'm told this is a um, accent, not a theme, but an accent. I almost forgot about these. One more by the boats. Almost forgot. So you can imagine when I saw this online, I had had to have it. Check that out. Which leads me to this video. A little uh, collection here of a bottle. This is a bottle opener and a corkscrew, but mostly bottle openers. And they all have a story and they all have a purpose. And I figured I'd tell you about them in this video. So. Stay tuned. Let's start with this one, Clocks and Colors. They make jewelry and other stuff. Really nice box, nice presentation and nice uh, little black package that they send it in. Number two, let's do this one because it's, it's also an opener. Uh, obviously, I'm into fishing. This sucker has some age on it. In fact, I lost the original, so I used a rivet here to put the thing back together many years ago. Uh, there's the opener, and it's a corkscrew. And it has a cutter here on the top, but of course it's a fish and that's what I thought was cool about it. I threw it in this group because it does technically open bottles. This one uh, is probably, it could be uh, 50 years old. Beechwood, Budweiser. It's got some uh, bronze or brass rivets that go through a stainless opener. Uh, this has just kicked around my family for my entire life. I know that it came from either my dad or my grandpa, and I ended up with it and just never, uh, never lost it. Um, so, a little sentimental there. I wish I knew. A little, I wish I knew more of where it came from. All only that I know that I've had it for my entire life that I can remember. This one is, uh, was custom made. I got it on Etsy and there's an engraving right here uh, that says, um, I can't see it. I'll put it in the notes. I gotta get my glasses. Hold on a minute. It says Titan Talon Tool Company. So if you type that into Etsy, Titan Talon Tool Company, here it has the grade of, uh, of uh, titanium. This guy makes these things and he changed it for me somehow. Um, I can't remember how. Uh, it had like something here or maybe a hammer or a punch or it had some extra thing and I said, hey, all I want it to do is open beer. And um, so he made me this, and then I ordered titanium split rings and a titanium hook. And the whole reason why I wanted this, it's like feather light, it feels like you're holding air, is uh, I wanted it to be super lightweight and I wanted to hang it on this little hook out on my boat and just have it there 24 seven. Like I would never ever have to worry about having a bottle opener on the boat because it would hang there. 
It's been out there for like a year in the salt. It's impervious to anything. Looks like the day I hung it out there. Uh, so that is why I have this. Um, this one I um, have had made by a forger. Now the problem with this one is it's steel and it will rust. Uh, so, you know, we keep this inside in the air conditioner, but this was handmade by a forger, also Etsy. And um, I think it's pretty cool. I love things that people make out of steel. Uh, and it's got a nice little scallop right in there that catches the bottle really nice. The only disadvantage, if this was 304 stainless or 316 stainless, it would be perfect. I probably wouldn't have bought this one <laughs> or this one if this was stainless. But as soon as I put it outside, it's going to rust. And then that's the last one right here. It's, uh, I got this on eBay. It was, it was used. It says made in Italy. I don't know what kind of stainless it is. It's got a brushed handle. And originally this is the one that hung outside, uh, by the, uh, outdoor kitchen that I've been working on for nine months. It's finally done. I'm going to show it to you in a minute, uh, but pretty neat. Uh, what else does it say there? Made in Italy. Um, stainless. That's all it says. It doesn't say, you know, what kind or whatever. And I can tell you it's not a really great grade of stainless because it does get little rust pits in it. Um, and then that leads us back to this one, which is part of the reason why I ended up with all of these, because I just kept looking for some bottle opener that would really complement the outdoor kitchen area and uh, was just really unique. So let's go out there. I'll show you where I'm going to hang it. I think it's going to make a great accent. So you heard me mention it's an accent, not a theme. I don't know why that is, but my wife has informed me uh, that we have a octopus accent. I guess maybe a theme would be, there'd be more of them. But that sucker is gonna hang right there. I think that makes a great addition to kind of finish off this uh, outdoor kitchen area. Obviously we've got the, the big girl on the wall over there. And when you get a beer from under here, get yourself a beer. Grab your opener, and you got your trash can right under there. So, pretty neat. Conversation piece at the least. This is 304 stainless, and it's just some kind of heavy duty adhesive to hold it there. Uh, but uh, I hope it holds up out here. I hope it's a good enough grade of stainless to hold up. And if you want to see, uh, this kitchen being built. I'll go ahead and put a link up top here to the playlist. I'm also planning a video on these nori pans uh, that I got from Solid Technics. This is a uh, stainless steel stamped one piece. This has no uh, heat ring in it or you know disc of copper or aluminum. Um, so it essentially is like a steel pan. Uh, but it's made out of a stainless steel, which is some four series of stainless four. I don't know the I don't know the numbers, but basically what companies would make an exhaust system out of. So they it handles the heat, it doesn't uh, flex or crack, but um, good for cooking. Uh, but out here in the weather, uh, it'll hold up because I'm about to post another video of reconditioning all my steel pans that I hung out here for about a year and pretty much. Uh, destroyed. You know, I brought them back. This is a cast stainless. It's made by a company called Foreverwear. I'll do a video on that. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. I know this started off uh, being all about bottle openers and ended up out here in the kitchen, but stay tuned. Please subscribe. I post uh, new completely random videos all the time. See ya.